<laughs> okay, Stream Deck is reacting faster and faster on these first tries every time. Ahoy everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight along with... I guess a mighty Lieutenant Drakir at your service. And yeah, it seems that for whatever reason, the game is still drawing 100% of my graphics card for some reason. Uh, so I have no idea what... Let's maybe turn those off. Let's see it. Okay, the game is literally running at the lowest that it can at the moment, about. But it's still... it. Okay, there... Yeah, something with this game is making it draw all that it can, because it does drop... Uh, it does drop in percentage when I make these adjustments. But the moment that... Uh, like, a second after that... Wait. Okay, now it's... Now it's balancing at 80% after... Nine... Okay, now 98. Huh? Wait, so... I... I upped the graphics by restoring the default. It... Okay, oh. what the hell? <laughs> That's a and... thing sometime. And of course, I still forgot to do this there. Uh... I'm... I don't know what the fuck to say. Uh, I, wait. I had something similar with Ork, uh, but I realized that the piece of work harder was on low setting, but I put it on a little bit more medium. It worked fine. I, I just have no idea what the hell. Like, everything is now on high. Of, of film grain. I'm pretty sure we can turn that off. Like, there's practically no one that likes film grain in their games and let's see but the oh, but okay ah, let's change the game to full screen not windowed I overlooked that okay still in the 90s still strange but yeah welcome back to doom eternal uh, after I finally uploaded, but not that like, published all of the <laughs> previous streams that I had been more well, being lazy with. And yeah, last time we got started in the Super Gore Nest. And today we're probably going to finish it off. Let's see. Yeah. No. I want to tell a bit of funny story just told Hillian before we started. Last stream, I sang a little parody of the Tossa Coin to the Witcher. Then Doom can toss up. I don't know what those eight coins he carries around are onto the Hell Priest. And yeah, it's just too much information. This day I watched it. Press talks a lot when he played this game. And he did it as well. <laughs> the same <laughs> song. Just. He only changed one word. Well, I did a bit more, but still. Uh. Yeah, I don't know if I remember it unconsciously or not. Also something here, just... There are four demon classes. Ambient, Father, Heavy, and Super Heavy. They, there's just no normal <laughs> level of demons. <laughs> okay. And hello there, Marco. You doing well today? Hello there, Polo. Uh, I mean, Marco! I, 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 someone tells me the healer can almost imagine what face I'm making when I realize I did it again. Yeah, but, but good timing on your shield there. Yeah. Not that it was going to help you. <laughs> there we go. I accidentally pressed the wrong button with this, but oh well. Uh, yeah, last time we figured out that this place is in... <laughs> this place has been built into and around a reactor, and, well... We're going to make use of that. Oh. Again, I pressed the wrong button. Nope. Come on, not a single bonk. 
Anyways, we've got a rad suit now, which is going to protect us from all of this gunk. But it does run out, so we have to keep moving. Yep, what? Oh. <laughs> really bad timing on that. Okay, give me that. Ooh, thank you. I was probably not supposed to be found that easily. But, yeah. Um, let's see. Okay, just need to get up. Okay, we definitely need to break through that, then. Let's see. <laughs> yep. There we... I think we need a counter for many things there, Marco. Yeah, if we kept a timer for all of the <laughs> mess-ups that we do, we'd have an entire screen filled with them. Uh, with them. It would be funny. Like, uh, yeah, when afraid. you turn to see heavy assault over your security, your fear will cease to exist. Uh, I do wish that I could just shoot those things. <laughs> uh, so there's one of those things again. Oh, I'm out of rat suits. Nope, oh, accidental secrets. Yep, no, not the time to be standing still. Ow. Okay, up. Oh, secret encounter. And of course, I misheard you. At least I hope I misheard you. What did you hear? I thought you said rat suits. You now have access to the heart chamber. Oh, hello there. So yeah, uh, you can guess what but my, 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 my lively imagination uh, cooked up from that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, wait a minute, wouldn't that make Doomgay almost look like biker mice from Mars? <laughs> okay, now we've got... Uh, now we've got some really heavy firepower. Okay, let's see the codex on this. Let's see, chain gun. The M220 chain gun is a 7.62 by 51 millimeter AE six barrel auto cannon built for infantry deployment. Weighing over 80 pounds, the M220 was conceived as a standard issue weapon for ARC mech soldiers fitted with exo armor, um, mechanized suits capable of supporting a heavier payload. The AE cartridge uses a special electromagnetic casing designed specifically for the M220's rail system, which increases product velocity and reduces overheating. So basically a, ch a chain rail gun of sorts. Okay. I do hope that they kept the, uh, the, the triple barrel uh, mods. Oh dear. Just some little rifles as well. And you know, does it bike mice from Mars? Their bike mice actually look surprisingly similar to Doom Game's old helmet. I guess. Let's see. I wonder if the coincidental don't work. Two nearby control terminals will need to be manually activated to restore full power. Unlocking the left terminal room now. Time to have uh, time to prepare for some heart surgery, it seems. I think I'm but... gonna at some point look up back much more for now. I wonder if that was supposed to be a Doom reference. I doubt it. There, theirs are a lot more triangular, I believe. Mm. It's not liking that. Mm. 50% uh -huh. power has been restored. The second control terminal still requires activation to destroy the nest. Captain, it's wiggling. I'm unable to open the door to the second terminal at this time. You'll need to find an alternate route. Yeah, if this thing is going to behave like normal gore nests, then we're going to be in for uh, some visitors when this thing opens up, when this thing gets set off. Yeah. Oh, that's it for Marco. You guys remember the view? What you can do for us. Too fake. I had it during the. Oh, I said drop the door. During Oberdin. 
Yeah, uh, or doing Umbradin? Well, it's back. You poor thing. Yeah. Time for a whole transplant. Do not run from our mortally challenged guests. Be a good host to our new friends. Yeah, out of ammo. Oh well. It also gets rid of them. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I feel, feel a bit surprised that, that, we did, that we haven't been given a chance to punch. There we go. The, uh, donk. Uh, but, uh, what would you call these uh, hologram uh, people? Uh, idiots. For one, uh, uh, I mean, as your description, propaganda uh, types. We just can call them propaganda spreaders. Yeah, propagandists. Yes, yes, I know about dodging. It's not really that I, like I can dodge much. In such tiny, small enclosures. Okay, that, that is one uh, complaint that I, one uh, small complaint that I have a bit with this game so far, is that it's put us in a quite a few small areas and then tells us to fight things us. that get fast and <laughs> and hit hard. Oh, Fuck you. Here. I gotta grab some ice cream since. Yeah, it's doomed. Right. Just stack up. Yeah. These are all close quarters, and these things have area yeah, effect attacks. And I'm back. I, I kind of like the Dread Knight's design. Yeah, it takes the pre, it takes, it takes the normal one and works on it. Yeah, and they kind of, they look more knightly, unlike the others as well. Well, almost. I, I've been sure Knight didn't use the laser katars. Yeah, fuck, there's a totem nearby. Where is it? Ooh. Ah, there it is. Okay. That was a bit of a panic moment for a bit. So, hello and goodbye. Could have done that better, but oh well. Let's see. I would say more of a bunch of uh, bunch of people that are not straight in the head. Okay, what was that meant to? I think it meant about the hologram people we talked about. Yeah. Let's I just see. think many people do want to punch them. Anything hidden around here? Think about it. Wait, every you two have seen play this. How come that they would want to punch them, actually? <laughs> Not surprising. Here goes. Ah, this way. And then somewhere here. No, to the sides. Uh, okay. Doing. Can I climb on these? No. 
Okay. Like, I know where I'm supposed to go, but I'm not seeing how to get there. Okay, that is way too high. Oh, there's climbable area up there. Let's see. Good. I think I just realized that they might be a use for those holograms in a weird way. What? It revealed to, <laughs> revealed to people what? <laughs> how insane the UAC is? Well, that too. But also, in a way, to keep Doom Guy angry. I don't think that he needs much help with that. Well, more firewood? Is it more wood to the fire? <laughs> There's something hidden over there. I don't get these fire shades. They, they look out of place in this game. Uh, that's one lucky disc. And share. The UAC. Your blood sacrifice today makes for a better tomorrow. Okay, that was entirely the way I was supposed to... No, this... Okay, two different ways to get to the same place. Uh, let's see. Marco, seriously, Twitch sends me the notification that you are streaming just now. Yeah, Twitch is... Well, Twitch. Yeah. Let's, see. let's give this thing a try. I have to say, these things look like look of maker design. They are. <laughs> also, I think this is, might be the level on the next one you should go to look for uh, computer consoles in, in the open world for more lore. Okay. Hello. I should use this thing more, because, well, obviously, <laughs> it is meant to be used against the bigger creatures. And I have you've wasted quite a few shots with this. Let's see. Okay, we're going to be looping all the way around, I'm guessing. Quickly. Oop. Okay, that opens that up. So now we can actually move around. It is, uh, yeah, again, it's the case where the chain gun and the heavy assault, uh, the, the, the heavy cannon share ammo. A little bit annoying, but oh well. Oop. Almost missed this. You see, Marco, I agree with what Raki just said, okay? I guess I know what he means. He agreed with what I said earlier. And he also says, I also might not be able to catch views on Saturday since I've I'm going to a friend's birthday party, oh, you poor thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> enjoy, or at least try to enjoy, I'd say. Yeah, enjoy, if you can. And, I should clarify, when I say, oh dear, or, oh, you poor thing, but it's, sound, it's supposed to sound positive, there's only positive two news, I'm being sarcastic. Yeah. Ah, here we go. Let's see... Oh, simple. There we go. I think I just skipped a few jump points in between. Oops. Well, you see that thing? I've done that thing a few times in real life. A lot mm -hmm. of real life. You usually get... Cat people off board. They just go... Wait, what? And <laughs> they look at me. How's that... How's that a bad thing? <laughs> Okay, that's two bonks for 20 total across the playthrough. You. Hmm. Let's see. 
a wheelchair. I think that is a reference to the uh, uh, more uh, other Doom 3 games that are not canon. Okay. Time for those stupid things again. What do you say that way? I don't know why it's stupid to say that, but I usually more say it more jokefully. Sarcastic, like I'm not serious when I say it. Out, out, there we go. Up more ammo. Okay, new. I think that was new. Okay, I need to go chainsaw something. Okay, um... Uh -oh. Alright, oh, right, now I know what I was going to say. I also noticed the frame rate on the stream is also looking a lot better now. So, yeah, I don't know what setting exactly got changed to, well, cause this. But it's welcome. Uh, <laughs> uh, wondering about my loved one. Okay. Poor Daisy. And but, yeah, now we're back here. I have something. Actually, yeah, I told you what. I had something similar with uh, R. But I had no. a, usually had a line in the middle on my own screen. But then I, I just set the screen to a bit higher. The line in the middle disappeared and the game ran smoother. Yeah, just weird that yeah, increasing that... the settings actually improved frame rate and all that. Yeah, I think I heard from my little brother, uh, one of them, say that it, sometimes it happens that sometimes the only the, the lower setting that mo modern parts may struggle to do them, since they're not optimized for, well, some very low settings. Yeah. We actually accidentally make it work harder. So yeah, it is a bit weird. Hmm. Did we get a codex on specters, maybe? Oh, yeah, man. I hope we did. Let's see. Doesn't uh, look see like it. it. I saw it, I saw it. It's above Whiplash. Ah, the, the Learn Earth. Revenant. Okay. Uh, ice Bomb will break the cloaking behavior, allowing lock-on weapons to work. Okay. Born from an ancient screed of forbidden psychomancy, it was by the termic inscriptions of the occultic six-sealed isle, the eyes, that the specter was made manifest. Divined in desecrated ruins untouched by light for an eternity, Warlocks of an abandoned sovereign house on Earth, the Forboten Scripture. Okay, for Forboten is just forbidden in German. Don't know why they just use that randomly, I believe. Uh, seeking rebellion by means of black magic against the rule of the infernal archdemons. By way of sorcery uh, were numerous abominations and ungodly forms brought forth into the hellscape. Among them the Spectre, ethereal amalgam of the Pinky. For their, rule, for their role in these miscreations, the Archdemons would enact as a retribution against its insurgents an unspeakable punishment and a decree of suffering that would not be without end. Okay. I, I was about to say it's a little bit annoying that some of the, uh, <clears throat> that some of the uh, enemy types are more yeah, broadly covered, like the soldiers and the zombies, even though there are different types among them, even if they're only slight differences. <clears throat> Did I step in something or something? Because it's, it's a, a bit on my foot is not being painful, more being annoying. I'll have to check that later. Uh, anyways, let's see chat. Uh, da -da -da. Why am I being shit again? The wheelchairs may be a reference to the movie Chainsaw, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, I think it's just a random I think it's just a random wheelchair more. Yeah, that's possible as well. Secret. Ah, there's the Slayer Key. Another battery. Let me no, this okay, the Slayer Gate is back over there. 
Let's see them. Oh, and I'm... Really? Someone died to that? Yeah, then again, in, in a big fight, it'd be hard to keep track. There we go. Got him with the blast. Go. Oop. Okay, just slight annoyances. Okay, we should have the keys for these two now. And this... Okay, should that open up the other end? There's a secret over there we've missed. And the Slayer Gate is that way. Okay, let's put these in place first. Okay. The Hellified Barrier has opened. This air shaft will provide access to the generator's control terminal. Okay. But first, let's also grab... And what are these? Polar stores? Looks like it. Right. Not of ammo, at least. Okay. Let's see if this one is as tough as the previous view. Well, as the first one more. Okay, what do I have the most ammo with this one? Okay. Freaking course, carcasses. Got you. Nope. Part of him away. Oh. Here with you. Wait, do we actually need free fuel to deal with these things? I should probably rewire that to some uh, something else. Gotcha. <laughs> Come on, let me out. Kill something. There. there. Still got him somehow. Come out here. Damn. Prowlers. So many. There. There. And 
And I think that's about it. Yep, there we go. Okay. Well done. That got, that got close at one point when they pinned me against the wall. But I still got through. Oh, there's a secret over there. Let's see. Can we go around for that? In many ways. Let's see. Uh, Marco, I'm back. Pizza messaged me about an opinion on his book movie idea. Okay. Got those two the, the wrong way around, but oh well. What? Why would it pizza? Uh, oh, wait! You mean pizza lover! Yeah. <laughs> what did you think he had an idea for a, P a, a Five no, Nights no. at Freddy's book? No, no, I thought he meant that, like a, a pizza delivery guy that he knew, perhaps. <laughs> Infinite ammo. Okay. Speaking of ammo, I I find this one to be a bit uh, underwhelming, the auto fire, since this one is a lot more useful. Anyway. Okay, fast travel unlocked. Let's see, there's a coin there. Oh, we, are, we missed a Merpin mod. Actually, now would be the perfect time to go grab that. To see Ooh, if... Yeah. It's any near there? Let's see. That should be close enough. Okay, apparently it doesn't like us <laughs> travel there. Let's see. This way. Yep. Okay, it seems that we actually got close to it. Close enough to have the map revealed near it. Okay. Let's see. Chain gun. Okay, let's see. Great balance of damage, effective range and spread. Good for stopping charging demons in their tracks. Shares bullet ammo type with the heavy cannon. Oh, mobile turret and energy shield. Okay. I think we both know which we'll take, though. <laughs> Thank you, Vega. That would probably help with some uh, of those slayer rooms. <laughs> also, we've gone from three barrels to four. <laughs> uh, wait, no. Count again. Now, technically, it'll be 12, assuming that each of these are triple barreled on themselves. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lots of output. Oh. I thought it was eight. Now you you can look oh. you can see it on the left one here. Like we oh, we see two I barrels see. now. Yeah. We open it up and a third one is revealed. Oh. No. Let's oh, see how many against humans, but against demons, needed. Okay, deploy modes and f in movement speeds. Let's go with this one. Oh, we have a lot of points to spend. A mobile turret no longer stalls upon completing... Let's see. Kill five enemies during a single turret deployed ten times without overheating. Okay. Uh, any other things we can get? We need to complete this one still. Precision bolts. Freeloads faster. Movement speed up. Not that important. Microwave beam. Uh, it's not actually that good. Lock on burst, recharge time reduced, lock on speed increased. Okay, let's get this one since we'll, we've been using this one a decent amount. Or it's a rocket launcher, of course, it's going to see a lot of use. <laughs> okay, just two more to finish up the super shotgun. All right. Oh, there's something up here. Let's see, there's an opening on the other side. Actually, that's to go down. Yep. yep. Here we go. Yeah, this was, a, this was a rather simple one. I should have just turned back to look for a lot of supplies. And this <laughs> the shield soldier toy. 
<laughs> okay. Secret over there. Crater point over there. Not as interesting. Okay, how do we get to that? Probably just jump down from... Uh, upper area. There, that's probably closest. Okay, then this way. Yeah, made a dumb mistake. I thought there was a connection point here. Okay. Didn't lose any armor or health over that, though. Now, let's see. It's behind... Yeah, still a bit further from here. I keep forgetting that the, your da the dashes don't recharge between wall climbs. So that is why these are here. Okay. Left and down somehow. Okay, that's open to the air. Hmm. On the other side. I don't want to spend too long on this. Let's have a look. Somewhere there? There, maybe? Hmm. Unsure of how to reach that. There. Okay. Then we continue on a little bit by bit. Uh, okay, why was that... Oh, the block is there so we can climb up here and then go back. So, I was wrong about two different paths to the same place. Another opening in the wall here somewhere. Uh, can I borrow the sh super shotgun, please? Now I think that I think the holographic projectors are dug in a little bit too deep. Let's see. Can oh, I see how we can make it. There we go. Oh, main theme. <laughs> From Doom 3, actually. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Which of these actually... Okay, not this one. Oh, there's actually another... Okay. Do not run from our Lord... Okay, I, I overlooked this way. Uh, let's actually get the heat blast. And there. Okay. Nice. Now, how do we actually... Let's see, upper area... There? Actually, no, this is back to the start. But no. Okay, this place is a little bit confusing like this as to where the actual connect. Okay, there we need to be. So. No. 
Okay, that should be across from it. All right. A little drawback of uh, intricate level design like this where it loops back on itself, it can get a bit confusing here and there. Okay. There we go. Full power. Okay, time to see what happens when you defibrillate, uh, defibrillate a uh, massive demon heart. Clear? Uh-oh. Clear! Generator is overloading. I have marked your exit portal. <laughs> we need to get to the shop, that's the objective. Warning. Main generator overload. I repeat, main generator overload. Please proceed to the nearest emergency exit. Uh. There. Okay, I'll take that. Gotta keep going. I very much doubt that there is actually a t oh there is a timer going. I didn't notice it until now. What? Uh, I was kind of busy trying looking to kill stuff. You can clip that one if you want. <laughs> well, I think that is, uh, you deserve to be get bombed. <laughs> okay. Stand still. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. I only missed the secret combat encounters. We got two of them, so definitely got that. We weren't going to do those anyways. And, okay, we didn't do... Yeah, I, I probably shouldn't have uh, super shotgun the pinky since that kills them in one shot. Oh, pinkies. <laughs> Actually got everything save for two yeah, Praetor coins. I should probably just ignore this since it's just a season thing. Okay. <clears throat> well, now that we've cleaned up shop a bit and made things a bit easier for Ark, let's see if uh, Miss Khan is going to have issue with that. Um. Okay, I think the I think the game froze. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Apparently she has a lot of issue with that. Okay, let me force close the game then.
Right, come on. There okay, we go. This might be our first actual technical issue with the game. Yeah, yeah. Been, or, all of my icons yeah. have been moved around again. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them for some reason. Yeah, prob yeah because of the full screen moments. I I don't I really don't like that when you uh, when a game goes into full screen at a lower resolution than your monitor, it'll move all the desktop icons around to try and fit in a. Back in a sec. All right. Okay, seems I didn't just forget to turn on uh, <coughs> Do Not Disturb mode, but I also forgot to flip the live <laughs> sign on my on my door. Uh, but yeah, that was my aunt uh, walking in for a moment asking for help with the television. Because, yeah, for some reason we need two different remotes. One to turn the stupid thing on and the other to actually move channels and such. What? Okay. But yeah, there's an event going on uh, at the moment. Uh, oh, I already told Rakir about this, but I forgot to intro it here. But uh, there's a yearly, uh, an annual uh, cycling thing going on. I think I've streamed during these before. And but yeah, at, at the absolute least, I'm not seeing the mic bar move when I'm not talking. So all of the stuff outside, like the, the music and the announcer, which I can hear. Uh, is not being recorded. This is good. And it did save. <laughs> but yeah, the, the con maker was so <laughs> unhappy yeah, with the sea on. Is it right? She unmade the game pro <laughs> moving. Well, uh, thank you. <laughs> the demonic consumption of Earth will not be stopped until the last priest and his guardian are destroyed. We will require assistance in order to locate the final Hell Priest. I believe Dr. Hayden can help us with our search. I will calibrate the portal to the Ark's command station. Wait. Okay, so Hayden... Hayden basically lost control of the UAC? So he's not... Yeah. Well, he's still responsible, but not as directly responsible, or at least of UACs down. There, still responsible, but... Yeah. There's more. He created Ark. This uh, is the Resistance Network. In an unbelievable turn of events, the Supergorn Nest has been destroyed. Reports from Ark personnel in the field say that they have seen a significant decrease in demonic activity across the globe. Many believe this is proof that the Doomslayer himself has in fact joined the Resistance effort and has successfully eliminated key figures within the ranks of the Challenged. Operatives working inside the UAC cultist organization claim that the leader of that division, priest Dayag Ranok, was in fact removed from his office recently by the Slayer himself. As key leadership within the Mortally Challenge continue to fall, we are seeing a decreased threat from the demons on all fronts. This has given the Resistance a key advantage in the War for Earth. The UAC continues to deny any knowledge of his existence. As surviving members of the ARC network, it is the belief of this station that these reports are in fact true. We believe the Slayer has joined us in the battle against the demons. To anyone still listening to this broadcast, know that there is hope, and he is out there. 
You know, it's more like you people stepped in on his <laughs> on his fights with the demons. Also, give me a, for some reason, uh, task manager swapped to the pro. Uh, it, I, it swapped the process because I swapped it to there to force close the program. I forgot to turn it back to performance. My bad. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Is the recording right? Yes. Lovely. Uh, yep. Okay. Come on. I should, yeah, I should move this to the side here since there's a bit of space open. Since I moved, well, since the wind, the volume mixer moved itself to the upper left. Okay. Just gonna uh, repeat my drink. Says, you kinda get first little eating <laughs> icy doritos. Let's see, weapon mod, praetor point, <laughs> main theme over here. Greater points. Hmm. Do we really have that much use for another modification at the moment? Let's see. We've already got. No, we did not get the the second of these. So, get them. Then we will. It's Marco. My Wi-Fi is again going at the speed of flashbacks. Okay. Okay, gimme. Let's uh, see, Mark, something new. Still have an accent? Maybe. Let's Wi Fi. Okay. What would you say you, you meant he had a wife? <laughs> Anyways, hello there pizza, are you doing well? Hello, Pizza! We are... I'm doing well. I can't speak for Helion, though. He's a big boy. Here we go. Three of six Imperium keys. Three more to go. Now then. It's anything else we could spend a bit on? There's a coin over there. Actually... Weren't those side bits locked behind batteries as well? Maybe? Let's see, we need to be one floor lower for those. Hmm. Also, I think I know which should be heading to. This will mean it will be the devil. You need to start looking for the rule special co global computer consoles. Okay. I can't fully see what that is, but I'm going to put this in here. So we at least have part of this done. I think that's the... I think that's the Doom 2016 Praetor suits. Because I'm pretty sure that one did not have the exposed arm as this suit does. Okay. Oh dear. Let's go have a meeting with Sammy about uh, his role in all of this bullshit. Let's see. Phone pizza lover, uh, the 3000. Big family line. Yes, I am good. Just finished Doom Eternal finally, just a few hours ago. The end was pretty cool. It is. Yeah, and, and we got the chain gun. Yes, we did. And he did not take long for him to upgrade him to this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> to the mobile the turret. Gun. Let's see. Having destroyed the super gore nest, the hunt for the remaining hell priest, uh, priest uh, continues. Unable to identify his position due to the con maker's interference, you travel to the Ark Complex headquarters of the Armored Response Coalition in search for Dr. Dr. Samuel Hayden, leader of the human resistance on Earth and the only person capable of finding the final priest. Also, he kind of has something that belongs to us. So, uh... Dr. Hayden is just across the complex. This industrial campus was once the headquarters of the resistance. Let's see how many legs we need to pull off before he tells us where he, he left it. Good news for the faithful. 
the deceiver, Samuel Hayden, has fallen. The Ark is no more. Fuck off. Looks like we got you just in time. Oop. Going down. You were just instantly ready with the fireball. Uh, let's see from uh... it's another oh yeah now the doom tunnel is finished i'll be continuing my playthrough of dark souls but just wanted to pop in here to say hi i don't have to go up to see you soon hi uh, be safe please take a lover see ya oh, that was oh, a waste by the way, is back as i think he is of course me here tell him i said hi all right let me try. Bonk. <laughs> Ooh, what can help you? You're not worth a, a rocket. There. <laughs> I just boot him. Ooh. There. Can I do? Let me slay the ridden. Oh, holy! <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, <laughs> really a little heart in its chest. <laughs> okay. Go, not so heavy more once a bunch of lead has passed through you, huh? Mm. Oh yeah, now these guys are dangerous uh, as quick. You have it difficult to get around them. Is a line breaker? If that's the term. Yeah. Well, that that is literally what they are good at. You in the lore. <laughs> okay, one less pirouette in the air. Uh, hello, Commander Keen. Oh dear God. And dope, dope nuts, really. I did not know that. No, they have. I think I think I told you this before that there has been fan theories that Commander Keen is the great grandfather of Doom Guy. And uh, they are also both related to uh, the guy from Wolfenstein. Yep. I'm, I'm pretty sure part of that was confirmed at one point. Yeah, though I would not be surprised if some of it been decanonized, like with Kumana Keen, since Kumana Keen seems a bit of an odd fit between uh, Wolfenstein and Doom Cup and the fit slightly, but Kumana Keen a little bit too silly. Uh, what was the button again to show where it's on the map? Oh, so let's just go pick on these guys. Now that they've softened each other up. Okay. Ow! Yay! Oh. 
That's... That was painful. Probably a bit <laughs> less painful than that, dude. A second. Okay, uh, getting asked to help yeah, tear something down, so BRB. All right. Uh, yeah, okay, delayed reaction there. Okay, uh, yeah, the thing that we had to take down was a tent that we'd set up uh, earlier today because, well, it was raining and <laughs> can't very well have a barbecue going in the rain. <clears throat> anyway, and also we heard it. Uh, it's on the stream. It should have been muted since, well, oh, no, no, the BRB no. also we mutes the mic. The metal sound. That, uh, if, uh, hold on. As in, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that. When I do that, it it mutes the mic. So you heard it, but stream shouldn't have shouldn't have heard Warning. that. Oh, oh, yeah. Is under I attack. was in. Yeah, I was able to hear a little metal sound and sometime a voice to whoever was close to the door, I guess. Yeah, I guess. But I heard a lot of metal pipe sound, which I don't know is for the damn tent. Young advocates, beyond the pain, there is enlightenment. Okay, I, I, there's fighting going on down here. I... <laughs> There. Oh dear gods. There's so many. Give me. Oh no, I think uh, Oh wait, I should remember that there is a song called uh, Slayer's Paradise. <laughs> it's not good. Oh, it's not horrible, it's just. When I found this song first time, I thought, oh, a parody of Amish Paradise? This could be fun. No lyrics. Alright. So, yeah, I think yeah. you can guess, like, if always was good, I think you can see why I felt a bit disappointed as well. Yeah. Okay, going to leave those. Not the time. Okay. Uh, you, you know what would be comical? What? If you run into an empowered zombie. I uh, would not be surprised if there are any of those. It's just lucky shots. There. Oh, that was a new one, I think. I saw you grab the throw, but what happened from there? <laughs> Basically just slamming the, into the ground, I think. Let's see. There we go. I, I think we phased through another one there. I, have to say, I think the zombies are the most expressive when they're getting glory killed. Attention. Samuel <laughs> Hayden has fallen. The Ark is no more. Please evacuate immediately. There. Yeah, but scoop. Got more. Okay, that's going to be a real nuisance. There. 
Mis. <laughs> nope. Out, out of ammo. More than... Nope. Okay, there we go. Oop. Last one. Okay. Dad got... Not as tight as some fights have been, but this is going to be an issue. Yeah, maybe you need to stop upgrading the amount of ammo you can uh, keep on yourself. Now, I, I have been upgrading that. I think it's the most upgraded thing I have at the moment. Uh, let's see. Oh. Yeah, it is the most. <laughs> let's see. We, nine points here. Uh, dash refills and glory kills more quickly. Let's go with that. At least five more. Hot swap. Let's go with that. And then three points. Let's see. Remain frozen for longer. Let's take that one. Okay. Anything around here to grab? There is a secret over yeah. there. There's also something else on the map. There's a coin there. Yeah, I think we completely went by that. We'll probably get yeah. here. We'll, we'll get here later. Hmm. Another big mecha. Okay, let's move on. Ammo is decent. The entrance into Dr. Aiden's outpost is blocked. Two peripheral turrets identified. Calculating optimal firing path. Confirm. You could use both turrets to clear a path. I will mark it for you. Go. Actually, what's the challenges in this level? Okay, get two runes, overlord of shield, overlord shields, and remove four shoulder answers. Okay, doable. Uh, this way, where the pinky just broke through. There we go. Oh, speaking of shoulder miss, there we go. You bastard. Welcome to the Ice Age. <laughs> I think yeah. I tried to imitate all known there, but failed. Yeah, and another one. I've kind of lost count at this point. <laughs> Beyond 20. Oh, hello. Cyber Mancubus. Okay, I thought we were... Oh, hello. Heavily armored variant that specialize in long range combat and area of denial. A single blood punch destroys all of their armor. Okay. Uh, okay do we have the blood so punch have... ready? Okay, so they no longer use a prototype armor. They have created finished product. Yep. Mm. Okay. 
I see something purple up there. Yep, out of ammo. Not anymore. You and goodbye. Okay. Oh, hello there. Okay, you were just waiting to be killed, weren't you? Oh, All right. that's got a hurt. Yeah, live vivisection. <laughs> vivisection. Oh. Hello. Yes. Remote detonates. Let's try this destroyer blade. It'll probably be overkill for all the small things. Oof. Okay, and it also slows us down. That's, I'm going to say that's probably not the best then. And there's another one. It does hit quite hard. Now we see window cleaners. That's where they're fired now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> nope, it's accidental secrets. Then the cheat codes. Uh, but the uh, game. Okay, the game forgot I had a weapon for a moment. Uh, I I think we were not. I yeah I think the game had a bit of issue handling the fact that it was supposed to be holding a seek uh, a cheat code floppy there instead of a gun. Uh, that's going back. <laughs> Hello. This is Dr. Elena Richardson, log entry 002. Subject analysis of Doomslayer, January 24th, 2163. There is no chance that the subject is a demon. We have blood samples pulled from the Mars base event that show his blood type is AB positive. He is male with a genome that makes him very much a member of the human race. But the enhanced strength, speed, and athleticism would indicate otherwise. But we can see from the blood samples that there are foreign bodies present of unknown origin. I cannot, as a contributing member of the scientific community, agree with the assumption by some of my colleagues that he is, for lack of a better word, a god, an avenging angel, the right hand of doom here to save humanity from its sins. But I cannot ignore that the timing of his arrival, the identity of his enemies, the fire and brimstone element to this catastrophe we currently find ourselves in has it, it has definitely shaken my scientific resolve. Okay. Okay. And also, oh, two. You missed what the first one. Yeah, <laughs> apparently. Uh, let's see. That'll use this, but oh well. Uh, so I think there's about seven of them in total. Let's see. Are they visible? Okay, they are not. They are not visible on the map. Hmm. Wait, really? Wait, uh, let, let's go up to this one and see if it's on the map. Now you, when you stand next to it. Nope. Oh, uh, that's that's kind of bad. Hmm. So I guess they're not there. Map to, to you not you don't need them to f finish the map or get any bonuses. It's more of a bonus lore. Yep. But still, many people love them. And also, they also do the things that uh, made press 
Stort lov är det stort av min. Det är du i many of the videos ever since you finished the game, two games. Okay, should I ask what that is then? I think you get, got a little hint from that uh, first video log. Doom God. <laughs> yep. That's where it's spawned from. There we go, it's a shower of armor. I think he has done the Google reference in the Google course. His micro videos, his raft videos, and a few other videos. Uh, let's see, I need to change or something. Let's see, there's a book. Okay, that, that must be a lore page. How to get in there, though? You can pass to crack wood stone walls, but not a wooden door. Apparently. There we go. Let's see, the Ark. Uh, let's okay. Hmm. Uh, let's see. A global military crisis relief initiative established by the Allied Nations in 2151. The Armored Response Coalition is designed with the sole purpose to combat and contain the Hell Invasion. It, what, didn't the log earlier say that it was 2163? Uh, um, actually, we can probably check that somewhere in here in a bit. Uh, da -da -da. To succeed where modern militaries are ineffective, utilizing cutting-edge Argent-powered technology, Hayden, overseeing all aspects of ARC weapon and tech development, set about repurposing the UAC facilities on Earth, many of which were unaffected by the invasion due to their remote locations and high levels of automated security. These facilities, operated by powerful AI, are already designed for weapon development and mass production, meaning they could be repurposed overnight. Okay. Uh, up. No, that, that was the first log, apparently. Log one. And yeah, oh, 63. Hey. It's been 12 years since this is all started. Oh, wait, wait. It says log one. But look, read the text. It says log entry 002. Yeah, but according to the game, it's the first one that we can find. Okay. I think mean, you can see where, my, where I want to criticize that a little bit. Yeah. That, 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 that kind of tricks the player to think you miss someone, but then you win there go, mm -hmm. wait, what? There. Yep. Hello. There. I gotta say that with the graphics upgraded again, the the graphics look a bit less cartoony. But still kind of cartoony. Uh, that was a mistake. In a good way. Yep, that was also a mistake. Okay, to here, then here. And um, see, so we need to get to there. Oh, you're not done. Okay, maybe I'm going to too early. Okay, something's shooting at me. Let's see, can we even reach that? From here, probably. Nope. Okay, where do I need to go next then? And hello, Durban Lords. You doing okay? Hello, Durban Lord the First. I don't know why I say Durban Lord the First, but it, 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 it has a nice one. to it. Wait, what? Because of the one in his name? Yeah. yeah I, I don't see... I don't see where the next jump, uh, jumping point is. It's, like there's that, but we can't jump that high. We can't jump that far. Yeah, uh, this is a thing. Uh, 
<clears throat> and uh, we're doing well here. And yeah, this place looks less demon filled because it's currently being invaded. <laughs> Okay, um, the point is to get from there to there, then there, uh, not sure where to from there. Seriously, where do we need to go from here? Does it really want us to try and get to that? For a split second there, I got the... Press E to grab. Wait, there is something there. Yeah, there's this grab. Oh, wait, did I really miss? Yep. <laughs> okay. Extra health. Hmm. Nice. Okay, not sure if that's a reference or anything. Okay, that's not going to help with this, though. We can't go in. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, log number two. This is Dr. Elena Richardson, log entry 005, subject analysis of Doomslayer, February 2nd, 2163. Maybe he is a god. Maybe he represents humankind's rage. Their will to persevere, to overcome that which would threaten our survival. He is uncompromising, a relentless being of violence that knows no mention of the hesitation shown by our many leaders and politicians during our time of judgment. Can he overcome them alone? If he can't, we as a species, all species, will not survive. Okay. Yeah, her composure as a scientist is kind of starting to crumble because of, well, everything literally going to hell. Yeah. Uh, let's see, how did we get from here to there? Oh. I think you can see now where the whole uh, Doom God meme started. Yeah. Bye bye. Yep. Need some. Was it an empowered one? There we go. I'm a bit split on that since, well, it it is does rather suddenly throw the at you. Sinner, you have to work hard to achieve success. <laughs> You finally did it! Okay... Evolution uh, is right. our destination. When is they arrive, that? we arrive. That's a plane. Did it... What, what broke down the plane? I'm guessing the UAC crashed it through here on purpose. And yeah, we got oh. the chain gun Durban. Yeah. I was thinking cut code demons or something, but I would not be surprised if EUAC will do something like that. They seem to be the kind of nut jobs. Some infighting. There. Durban Lord the first. If UA UAC did that, they did that to open ho holes for the demon forces. Yep, we need to kill something. There we go. And an appetizer after. 
<laughs> Why did I get the kick shot? Got me a good amount of armor. Yep, I'll be taking that. Ah, uh, you, you jackass are coming in through there. Okay. <laughs> I think I accidentally mixed the Dutch word there. Yeah, but, yeah, I think that you've been doing that a bit more and more in this in a few recent months. <laughs> uh, yeah, wait. Uh, yep, no, no. Okay, that took off one of them. Uh, daar is the Dutch word for there. D double A R. Oh right, so it's he's saying dad. Headstrong dashing to a pinky head on. Okay. Oh dear. Uh, does it D R is the A to dots away and R? It's there. Uh, oh, I guess it there. Oh, he's almost pronounced as there. I bet I, yeah, I bet I think over here they get more and more used to the similarities between Dutch and Swedish. <laughs> I think I'm actually on the doing the floor at some points. Wait, what? Wait, wait, let me get this right. You want to glory kill the floor? No, I think I've accidentally been electrifying the floor with some of these shots. Oh! Okay, that would make sense. Right, I was going to say... I think over, the, over the, this year, maybe. Oh, I've accidentally slipped in our native tongue into the yeah. streams. Okay. See if an encounter, coin, and lore. Okay, Samuel Hayden. Okay, that is a cool pick. <laughs> Let's see. In 2050, following the loss of communication between Earth and Mars-based facilities, UAC Director Dr. Samuel Hayden suddenly resurfaced on Earth before an AN Council. The demonic invasion of Earth had already begun, and Dr. Hayden had arrived just in time to provide aid. He supplied the Resistance armies with Argent technology and advanced ornaments, taking helm of the newly formed ARC as lead director. Of course, he had to take the, front, the, the highest position with his ego. Dr. Hayden's tactical and scientific acumen were invaluable to the war effort, and he was soon given full command over all resistance efforts by the Global Council. The Ark engaged the demons with bleeding-edge technologies, and bleeding-edge tech, exosuits, and heavy frame battle max, but found themselves fighting a losing battle. Operation Hellbreaker was Samuel's final plan, a powerful counterattack that ultimately ended in failure. His robotic torso retrieved by Ark soldiers, Samuel is not... <clears throat> is now tended to and monitored by a skeleton crew of scientists. They may have given, uh, they may, they had been given contingency orders to safeguard his body along with the crucible obtained on Mars. Okay, so yeah, he still has that thing. Uh, 
that scene has not yet come up, <laughs> Durban. And I know of the scene that you've <laughs> spoken of, especially with the memes and such. But I get the feeling that's likely going to be the next level. If not the one after that. <laughs> <laughs> and Drakir also knows of that scene. Oh yeah. yeah it's, it, it's how I will uh, visit Duban Lord one day. Just have to make Bonk. sure I and aim at his... Not but aim next to his house and not on his house. Go. Nothing missed, nothing missed. <laughs> okay, he went up in a firework of blood. If, really? Are you work of blood? That's a phrase. <laughs> a bit oh, been a bit since we've seen few balls. Okay. No secrets. Oh, almost would have missed that. Extra <laughs> large. Haven't lost many in a bit. Really, nine, nine, nine. Dude. Okay, uh, there's a room it's downstairs. Nine, nine, two. Yep. Wait, that means there's a lot of rooms. Hmm. Don't think I'll change the runes much from what we have with the longer stagger and such. And well, the last chance. You believe the Doom Slayer will save you? Your salvation lies with us. Yep. Okay, different <laughs> method, but still the same <laughs> destination. Okay. Oh, I'll take that. Oh. Yep. Come on, come. Yep. <laughs> Okay, just plain pull him in half. Okay. Not heads up, but heads off. Okay, that might have been a bit of a waste, but oh well. <laughs> it. Not that entertainment. I think I just had an idea, I should probably recommend people to learn for these streams. Oh? Have an umbrella nearby. <laughs> nope, no. Pinky, get out of the way. This pinky rushes through us. Yep. No, yeah. Pinkies are no joke. Like, again, they're only easy when you ambush them from behind. Mm. Ah, gotcha. It. 
Let's play. Teleporting jackasses. Near you. There. Oh, hello. Not charged. Uh oh. There. Okay, where is... There is. Oh, you must... What did you get hit by? And I'm... Okay, do we have blood punch? No. Now we have blood punch. Pinky, come on, come on. Okay. Oh, that. Okay, that was new and a bit underwhelming. Good last. Okay. I know there's more here. There. Ah, stupid shields. Nope. On a lamp, really. Mighty Doom guy gets stuck on a lamp. Any more? Okay, no more. There is the Slayer key, a battery, and a secret below. But it looks like we're going into there, anyways. Uh, there's something right ahead. Oh, one of those. Let's see, not to there, but I'm guessing we have to go to here. Yep. yep. I didn't. I didn't actually see the second portal, so I had no idea where that was going. Okay, Sammy, let's clean up your mess again. <laughs> First target destroyed. The second turret will give you the angle needed to destroy the remaining tentacle. <laughs> Too bad we can't just joyride this thing for a bit. <laughs> It would be fun. <laughs> this is going down lower than it was before. Yep.
Cool with sense as we wanna get access to the other one. <laughs> Don't get cut on the grass uh, on the grass on the glass. <laughs> Uh, let's see, but it'll be on time. All right, I forgot. are we extending time? I, yeah, I just remembered that I forgot to start restart the timer, but let's give it 10 extra minutes beyond the normal. Our trans-dimensional friends shall Sounds not good. walk on tainted ground. Earth must be cleansed. Right, and they're doing that by tainting all of the grounds. A part of me hopes we can find her and shove her head up her own ass. Almost. <laughs> I think you're getting shot in the back by these things. Oop. Return of Samuel Hayden. Let's see, yep, showing off his new toy that he stole from us. The destruction of the Argent Wellspring on Mars meant chaos on, for planet Earth. Following the loss of communication between Earth and Mars-based air facilities, the collapse of the Argent-dependent energy grid consumed the planet in crisis. It was during this time that UAC Director Samuel, uh, Dr. Samuel Hayden suddenly resurfaced on Earth before an AN Council, willing that which might offer salvation to mankind, the Crucible. After recounting the events that had transpired on the red panel and on the red planet, Hayden agreed to cooperate with the AN, providing access to the various UAC facilities on Earth and by extension the full range of technologies at his disposal. Paramount among these was the Crucible, the last remaining source of Argent energy in existence. Yeah, and I'm guessing he's totally not wanting to end up as king of the Earth after this, huh? I cannot say anything. Rude. This is speaking of doing the work for us. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's anything in that hole. There was a bonk in my there. Hello. Uh, let's see. Apparently, only some of these can unlock. Or do I also have? Do I already have the ones that are grayed out unlocked or something? But pretty sure I haven't gotten all of the runes yet. Big targets. Actually, let's test this out. Okay, yeah, that does a lot of damage. <laughs> oh yeah, now you see it, but that damn thing is good. The only problem is that it just locks you in place as you go with it. Hello everyone, and goodbye. Yeah, you do need to be able to aim the damn thing. Nope. Nope, that was too close. Yeah, well, think about it. Technically, you should probably stand still you fire a rocket launcher as well. Probably. But Doomguy has enough mass, I think, to be <laughs> not to stop it. What? Ah, yes. <laughs> Hello, Vlad. Actually, since we have infinite ammo with this... And out. Okay, something made a pop sound there.
Got you. You and I'll take that. There's a bunch of the small fries around here. Boing. Oh, hello, Pinky. Goodbye, Pinky. Whiplash. You just get dealt with. Where did those go? Anyways. Ow. Now I should use the chainsaw a lot more than I have been in the early game. Yeah, kind of need to. Okay, was mostly hoping for the whiplash there, but the pinky was extra. Lee, Caroni. Okay, I'm oh, pretty sure we. Today. I'm pretty sure I've killed more demons in this arena than in any before. How does that make you feel? You could say mighty. Okay, that's the last of you finally. I'm not gonna allow you. I'm not gonna give you applause or love for being a reference to a damn mobile game. Okay, music hasn't stopped yet. And there is still something here. Where are you hiding? Did something get stuck? Oh, that's why. We haven't read the mancubus, uh, the cyber mancubuses bit yet. We should probably do that. There we go. He was just hiding in the corner here the whole time. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Uh, cyber mancubus. Okay, blood puns. Arm cannons have been reinforced and cannot be destroyed by damage. Okay, chest glory kill will just cause a boom. Holy, look at that boy! Oops. Okay, it's a bit of paper that stuck to my arm for some reason. Okay. Mechanized and heavily augmented, the Cybermancubus is equipped with, for frontline warfare. <clears throat> equipped with dual barrel arm mounted mortar cannons, the Mancubus' uh, integrated weapon systems, uh, system utilizes the body's natural <clears throat> occurring biotoxins. We're finding this corrosive, viscous membrane into a toxoplasmid ammunition field. Siphoned from the spinal gland and funneled intravenously to the weapon conversion system, the corrosive secretion is discharged by an alternating firing mechanism, which dispenses the toxoplasmid as either heated projectile or ignited fluid, the latter resulting in a flamethrower-like incendiary spray capable of burning through armored plating. Yeah, key... <laughs> Keep your distance, but even there you won't be safe. Oh dear, wait, did you have any big pictures of them? Uh, no. Oh. Yeah. 
Really? You're still stunned? Okay, you'll get a bonk for that. <laughs> like, he, he was stunned for like 10 seconds there. No, you don't. Oh yeah, did you do an upgrade that? No, upgrade what? Yeah, you did the length. Did we have the rune for it? lengthening that? Yeah. The Okay, sent that one to the Shadow Realm. And I'm not bonk. Thanks. What are those sparks? Oop. Okay, there's something else in this goop. Okay, do we start over there? Oops. Okay. There. Okay. Um. Okay, we can still climb out. Luckily enough. Okay, then just over here. <laughs> Look like looks like there's discord between the between even the different kinds of undead soldier. Okay. Up. Somehow not surprised. Yeah, I like how they've given you a need for reason to keep to use this one still, even after getting the super shotgun. Oh yeah, because they are all good at little jobs. Yeah. Yep. Stop hitting yourself. Yep. Out of ammo. No problem. Yep. <laughs> okay, it, it looked like the Kako Demon ate <laughs> the other demon there for a second. I would not be surprised if he accidentally did. So there was a lot of chunks flying about. Okay. Oh, we've missed a bit of lore at the end here. Yep, secrets. Let's see, Samuel Hayden part two. Yeah, he, he is so glory hounding with this. Believing it possible to solve the energy crisis which now devastated the planet, Dr. Hayden sought to invent a method of argent synthesis, a synthetic replication that could recreate the high yield capa capability of argent energy. With the destruction of the argent energy across the solar system, all that remained of argent existed now within the crucible, the fabled hell artifact which Dr. Hayden had acquired on Mars. Knowing full well the Crucible's hidden power, Samuel devised a method to utilize the artifact as an argent conductor, a process that would in time produce the miracle of synthetic man-made argent energy, restoring the production of argent energy to Earth. Uh, on that, actually, in this last one, I'm pretty sure he embellished what happened on Earth incredibly. Like, he probably said that he was the one that did everything. Instead of, well... Doom guy who actually did everything whilst he was fucking around in his office. Mm. Hayden became a mythical figure among Earth's survivors, in no small part due to his abnormal physical condition, and he returned to Earth when most sought a means of to, to escape, bringing with him the crucible that would grant the people a second chance at survival. For the common person, he had become the stuff of legends. Yeah, and he is eating it up. Yeah, the Doom guy. 
people all get the normal doom guy. Yeah. Let's, let's see how the people react when they find out that Hayden is a false prophet. Uh, I can't read that. What? You want something? Uh, no it, idea. I, I read it more from the side bit that popped up for like. <laughs> And all I saw in there was quad something. Okay, second turret. Second turret. And let's see, five minutes remaining. Okay. Okay. We really should use this toy to blow up a few more demons, but it'll probably cause more collateral damage than needed. One moment. Ooh. Override <laughs> successful. Really? <laughs> the path is now clear. You can access Dr. Hayden's outpost. <laughs> click, click. <laughs> Uh, I might try to crop that out, <laughs> or crop, crop that for other use. Okay, Hayden. Time to say hey to Double Barrel Shotgun. Oops. Okay. Oh, oh, hello, by firing and... Quickly and pressing Q or fire to switch weapons, you can bypass reload times on slow firing weapons. Okay. That's a bit of an advanced trick. Okay. There we go. Okay, I was being overconfident by just standing still while shooting it. Okay, give me that. Anything to deactivate here? No. But there is a coin nearby. Don't mind me. Oh, you actually survived that. Not for long. And a last bunk, perhaps. Yep, with that shot. Uh, I have three. Yep. Through you. Actually, there we go. Did not mean to blood punch, but okay. Yep. 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 I thought we'd gotten that one already. Yep. Let me. Any more? Looks like more, yes. Rip and tear. Still not done. Okay. Thank you. Another quarter for the machines. 
Okay. Wait, if that's a quarter. Holy, how big are the bills? Let's see. Okay, one up. Uh, yeah, let's go grab the secrets. Meet uh, Hayden. Or confront, more likely. Oh. And then we'll call it. This is Dr. Let's Elena see. Richardson. Log entry 006, February 9th, 2163. The only thing they fear is him. We watched as the Horde overwhelmed the very best and most advanced machinery and weapons technology that we could muster against the opposition. It was useless. They moved too quickly. They cared not for themselves, only sought out the blood of humanity. They were willing to sacrifice their own to get to the heart of our world. We slaughtered thousands and millions more followed, but then he came. He cut through them like a sickle through a field. His fury surpassing their own. He is faster, more relentless. I believe him now to be more than just a man. He is doom. Oh dear. Oh, did, wait, did we just get the save? So, so before, I think you're still a, a bit off uh, before we meet Hayden. Let's see, in Quake 3 intro on that. Uh, let's see, I think there's probably one more fight or something, seeing as there's still a little bit of reds. Yeah, we are now one minute over time. Warning. All our personnel. The mortally challenged have entered the compound. Evacuation is advised. You're a bit late with that. Okay, we can call it there and then we'll meet uh, Hayden. We'll go <laughs> talk with Hayden next week. Yeah, for I, there's a reason I'm stopping you there for... You will see me next time. Okay, he's probably going to blabber on for like half an hour or so. Oh, no, no. It's not him you need to worry about. Okay. Let's see. It's a cutscene to a boss. All right. Well then, <laughs> definitely enjoyed this and still surprised and somewhat annoyed that upping the graphics actually made things run smoother. Like, really? But I guess that also means I should not preemptively lower graphics on the game uh, in the future. Still really freaking weird. Yeah. Okay. There's something I heard. It has become more and more common. Let's see. Let's change the screen share and we go look for someone to raid. So let's see. Who uh, are on? Pardon? Enlarge this a bit. Okay. The browser is muted in its entirety. Let's see. We have Hisaya Rozier, who is streaming Fear and Hunger 2 Termina. Uh, I think I've heard of that game before. Okay, isometric survival horror or something? Maybe. Uh, then we have, we have Pika Girl, who is streaming League of Legends. Nico is doing art. Jimin McGinger is streaming Xenogears. Horror Dust is streaming Overwatch 2. I'm a Flanker is streaming Crusader Kings 3. Empathi Empathize is streaming Dark Souls. Intro VT with Valorant. And Halloween with Val Valkyria Chronicles 4. Okay, any of those sound interesting to you? Hmm. Yeah, either Hisaya or... Halloween. Uh, let's see. Let's go with Hisaya then. Haven't rated them yeah, in a bit, I think. Close the screen suddenly. <laughs> Probably because something with chat. So... <laughs> okay. Slash raid and paste. And yeah. Uh, ta -ta -ta. No, no streams tomorrow. And then in the weekend, we will have our weekend stuff, of course. Uh, Evo Lands and Dave the Diver. Definitely looking forward to both. 
and I have had I've run into a minor spoiler. Not I'm not even sure if you could call it a spoiler, but apparently in some parts of Evo Land Two, it's going to go into a bit of Fire Emblem like combat. So that's going to be interesting. And yeah, oh, yeah, with Dave, we'll just have to continue well exploring and fishing up everything and just trying not to drown. Which luckily so far we haven't run out of oxygen at any point. Yeah, like I know we've been close, but we somehow succeeded. Yeah. But for now, uh, thank you everyone who has been watching. Thank you, Durvin Lord. Thank you, Pizza. Thank you, Marco. And I think that's about it. Just scrolling for back. And oh, hello there. <laughs> I see it. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, Tatum lurking in chat. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> okay. Hello, Pito. Let's start at the rates. And yeah, uh, thank you, of course, as always, Dirk here. You're welcome but... as always, my friend. And yeah, uh, weekend shenanigans in well the weekend. So uh, until then, thank you all again for watching, and until next time. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for imps, gargoyles, and cacao demons, <laughs> and everything else. <laughs>